Today I'm going to show you how to make the Raspberry Rose Mickey Macrons from the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe over at Disneyland. First we're going to make the Mickey Macron shells. In a large bowl, add two large egg whites, and using a handheld mixer or stand mixer, beat on medium-high speed until soft peaks form. You'll know it's ready when it's turned white and has a little peak when you pull the beater up. After this, start mixing again and gradually add in half a cup of granulated sugar. Keep beating until the whites become shiny and fluffy, and stop once you have stiff peaks. Next, grab two-thirds of a cup of powdered sugar and half a cup of almond flour. Add these dry ingredients to a fine mesh strainer, along with one tablespoon of raspberry powder. Sift all of these dry ingredients directly into the egg white mix. The goal is to get rid of any of those giant dry lumps. Next, using a rubber spatula, gently fold the dry ingredients into the egg mix. The mixing here and folding is what I think the most difficult part of making a macaron. You have to be careful not to undermix or overmix. One strategy to tell if you're done is to try making a figure eight out of the batter. As soon as you're able to pull up batter and let it drop into the shape of a figure eight without breaking, then you're ready. Finally, to the mixed batter, add one quarter teaspoon of rose water and red food coloring. I personally didn't add a ton here, you would need to add much more if you wanted to get the actual deep red color that's found over in Disneyland. And now it's time to add the batter to a piping bag. I like putting the piping bag into a large glass and folding the outside to the bag over the edges. I think this helps make it real easy to add the batter directly into the bag. With the piping bag full, it's time to pipe out some Mickey shapes. On a lined baking sheet with either parchment or silicone mat, carefully pipe out the Mickey heads from the center to the outside. Pipe the Mickey head a bit larger than the ears, and this batter will spread out. And for any rogue air bubbles, you can take a toothpick and gently pop them. This macaron recipe should make roughly 10 to 12 shells, depending on how big you pipe out those Mickey heads. Once all of the Mickey heads are piped out, let those rest until the batter is no longer wet to touch about one to two hours. While those Mickey heads are resting, we can prepare the raspberry mousse filling. Add one quarter ounce packet of unflavored gelatin to one quarter cup of cold water. In a medium saucepan, add six ounces of fresh raspberries, one quarter cup of water, and one third of a cup of granulated sugar. Turn up to medium heat and cook everything until hot and bubbly. Once it's super easy to mash with a spoon or spatula, it's ready to be blended. Pour all of the mixture directly into a blender Cover it up and puree. And when I blend hot mixes, I like to leave a bit of a vent open. Look at all that steam escaping. Add this pureed mix to a fine mesh strainer and push it through with a spatula back into the pan. This will help remove most all of those leftover seeds. Add some of the prepared gelatin from before. I ended up only using about half of it. Combine the gelatin and the puree and bring to a boil and cook for about one minute while stirring constantly. At the end, you should have a thickened, viscous raspberry mix. For the second half of the raspberry mousse, add three quarter cup of heavy cream to a large bowl and mix with a hand mixer or a stand mix. Ready? You say go. Go. Oh. Like the egg whites before, mix this on medium to medium high speed until you have stiff peaks. Once you get some stiff peaks, don't forget to give it a taste test. Then add in the berry mix, which at this point should be quite cool. Fold in the berry mix with the heavy cream to create the raspberry mousse. Mine was a bit pale in color, so I did end up adding some red and blue food coloring in the end after this. And now that the shells have rested one to two hours, bake these in an oven preheated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 to 20 minutes. It'll depend a little bit on how big those Mickey heads are. Just bake until the shells have risen and are dry to the touch. After the shells are baked, transfer them to wire racks to let them cool completely. And I gotta say, for freehanding these, I'm pretty proud of myself. They look like Mickey heads. I'll take it. And now that the Mickey head shells are ready, and the raspberry mousse filling is prepped in a piping bag, it's time to fully assemble these raspberry rose Mickey macrons. On the bottom side of one Mickey shell, add a dollop of the mousse filling and add a raspberry on either side. Continue going back and forth between a dollop of mousse and a raspberry until you've covered the whole surface of the shell. Then take a second Mickey head shell and place it on top. If you really want to bring the Disneyland aesthetic home, artfully stroke on a brush of edible gold paint. 
And here is my at-home version of the Raspberry Rose Mickey Macaron from the Jolly Holiday Bakery Cafe in Disneyland. This sweet treat is packed with raspberry flavor. That little amount of rose water is surprisingly pleasant. I really pushed my decorating skills to the limit here, but in the end it was really worth it. And again, if you wanted to make the shell a bit more of a deep red, like the one from Disneyland, just add in some more red food coloring, maybe do the gel version, and maybe some blue as well to deepen that color. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and are able to make these for yourselves at home now. And now it's time for a dad joke. What do you call a sad raspberry? A blueberry. This will make just a little bit more sense in a second. You wanted grapes? Yeah. Oh no.